Hey YouTube, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox, and today we got some people over here, some friends of mine, helping me. What are we doing, Aaron? Uh, servicing the wheel bearings. Servicing the wheel bearings because the person I bought this from said, "Don't move it until you do." So I'm going to put this camera down and uh, try and learn something here because I don't have a clue what we're doing. All right, that's it for now. Well, part of the problem of uh, living so far out in the county, out in the country, is that when you need something, you got to drive a long way to get it. And uh, this is what I needed. You can see that right there. That's some kind of seal that goes right there. And uh, when you take them off, they get bent a little bit. It's to be expected. And so we were going to buy four new ones. And my buds went in to town, um, well, about two and a half hours ago. And uh, they're not back yet. And so right now I'm sitting here with two hubs kind of disassembled. And uh, I've degreased them. And I'm just waiting. But what I did is uh, some work. And so if you remember, can you see me? If you remember uh, the front of the trailer hitch before, it was all white and rusty. And now I uh, scraped it with a, a wire brush on a drill bit and then I painted it with that, uh, that paint that, uh, you know, eats rust, converts rust. And so it looks nice, looks nicer than it did. And hopefully it stops some of that rust. And then the other thing I did, you gotta look at this for comparison. See this stripe right here? See what that looks like? You know, I'm colorblind. I think that's green with a lot of aluminum showing through. Well, I painted the other side of it. Rattle can, spray paint. It's kind of like an OD khaki color. And uh, I like the way that turned out. I think what I'm going to do is paint this part that same color. And here's the deal. I want to make this trailer not look like a piece of garbage driving down the road. Um, but then once I get it to where I'm going, I'm probably going to paint it colors that make it blend in a little bit more. I also got up on the roof. I guess we can go do that right now. I got up on the roof of this thing and uh, you can see I've got some work to do here. Uh, that's just covered over uh, until I can order a new part. That, that's the uh, toilet the toilet uh, vent coming up. It's broken off. I need a new one. This one right here comes up out of the sink and it's a vent that comes up and it's broken off. And that hatch right there uh, just doesn't stay down. So you have to put a brick on it. So obviously I need some work up here. And then I caulked ugly because my caulk gun broke. Uh, but I caulked this little roof seam right here with some caulk that was going to go bad if I didn't use it. I'm going to get up here and clean this and redo the whole roof and do the vents and everything. But that's what I've kind of been doing with my time. And so, there we are. <laughs> you know, nothing ever happens. What, what's that rule? If you think something's going to take an hour, multiply that by three. If you think it's going to take two hours, multiply that by three. Yeah, that's about the truth out here. So, um, until later.